Eight days ago, the people of Ontario elected a new government. You sent a clear message. You voted for a plan that respects you and respects your hard-earned money. You voted for a team that was ready to govern. You gave us a mandate to take immediate action. And that's what we're going to do. After 15 years of being gouged at the pumps, gouged by high taxes and cap and trade, the people of Ontario want relief. And during the election, I promised we would take immediate action to lower gas prices by scrapping the carbon tax and ending cap and trade. Today, I want to confirm that in Ontario, the carbon taxes days are numbered. In fact, upon the swearing in of my new cabinet, at the top of our agenda, the very first item will be to pass an order to cancel the Liberal cap and trade carbon tax. As of June the 29th, the cap and trade, the carbon tax, they're gone, they're done. And this will mean relief at the pumps. The first steps to reducing gas prices by 10 cents per litre. So when the legislature resumes, we'll pass legislation to end cap and trade era in Ontario. I've already given our officials clear direction to immediately withdraw Ontario from future auctions for cap and trade credits. Additionally, as promised in our plan for the people, I will direct directing my Attorney General to use all available resources to use every power at the government's disposal. We will officially challenge the federal government carbon tax on Ontario families because the cap and trade and carbon tax does nothing for the environment. All it does is hurt small businesses and hurt families. Eliminating the cap and trade carbon tax is the right thing to do. It's a key component in our plan to bring your gas prices down by 10 cents a litre. My friends, I promise to deliver on my plan for the people. I promise that we would make life more affordable in Ontario. I promise we would reduce gas prices and respect your hard earned money and I plan on delivering my promises. Thank you. Okay, we'll take questions over here one at a time. Go, Go ahead, Cynthia. Um, so I know this is a major announcement for you and I'm sorry, I'm running to another news conference and I'm on a different story. Uh, two little girls were shot yeah, in a playground at five o'clock. When you were standing right here with sure. the foreign affairs minister yesterday, uh, gun control carding, they were issues in the campaign. I remember you uh, were booed at an event saying that you wanted to bring Tavis back. Where do you stand now on carding? The <coughs> union chief, uh, the, the police union head is saying the lack of carding is an issue here. What do you think about that and what do you think about Tavis? Well, first of all, we're allocating uh, uh, millions of dollars to uh, Toronto and Ottawa police to be able to fight uh, guns and, and gangs. And I, I also think that uh, once we catch these, these thugs and, and these cowards, that they get locked up. They get locked up for a long time. Uh, that's, that's a problem. We have a bunch of thugs running around the city with guns, shooting people, and, and my prayers and thoughts go out to their families and the two little kids. It's heartbreaking. Every single person here, most people have, have children. And you, you can't even comprehend what the families are going through. These innocent two little kids being shot in the streets of Toronto. What's a city coming to? But we're, our government will assist our Toronto police. I believe the best, best police uh, anywhere for a city in, in North America. And we're going to make sure that uh, we give them all the resources they need. Okay, next uh, question. Make sure that we uh, help them out because th this can't happen again ever, ever. Go ahead. Over here. Oh, Next sorry. Question, David. There are uh, billions in cap and trade credits that have already been sold. Um, how much will uh, scrapping cap and trade uh, cost? And uh, um, the timeline uh, to 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 uh, try and unwind cap and trade. What does that look like? Well, there's uh, the auctions, as you may know or may not know, happens every quarter. So we're we're going to. Uh, once we go back to the legislature, we'll create legislation that will get rid of it. And uh, again, there's, there's programs that are offsetting that money. Uh, we have uh, our own fund of over half a million, uh, half a billion dollars uh, to support the environment. So it's going to be offset by uh, the programs that they had in the, in the past. Uh, for instance, uh, giving uh, people that drive $80,000 cars uh, credits. 
Next question. Hi, Mr. Ford. Marika Walsh with iPolitics. Um, the, the actual agreement requires that Ontario give a year's notice, and it asks that Ontario ties its exit to the end of a cycle. So that would be at the end of 2020. So why aren't you giving a year's notice, and are you opening us up to lawsuits by doing so? No, I think the, the companies are going to be quite happy that they don't have to pay for this. But they've we were given, paid for it, sir. They've well, already paid. They're, they're going to be quite happy that they won't be paying in the, in the future. And uh, what we're doing is uh, putting money back into businesses' pockets, back into families' pockets. And I think people will be pleased. And uh, we're going to be dealing with uh, our staff at uh, the province here. And we're going to move forward on this legislation. But next are next you question. Are you opening yourself up to lawsuits, though, by not waiting a year? Well, no, I don't believe so. We looked into that, and we don't see a problem with that. Okay, go ahead. Mr. Ford, so companies have already, they currently hold about $2 billion in these carbon allowances. Families aren't going to see any of that money because the companies have already paid for it. So the only way that businesses or, or families see any savings is if they get reimbursed. Will the government reimburse companies for the $2 billion they've already paid? Well, they're, they're going to see uh, immediate relief. Everyone's going to see it because we're going to reduce gas prices. Uh, overall, our, our goal is to reduce gas prices by $0.10 cents a litre. That's going to go right into the back pockets of uh, consumers, but it's also going to go in the pockets of small businesses, medium and large businesses. Uh, gas prices uh, affect every single good and service that that we have here in, in our country, and uh, I just uh, know it's going to make a, a big difference for people. And all you have to do, all you have to do, I shouldn't call companies out, I, you know, you drive by a gas station, it's not too busy, you drive by uh, a Costco and they're three cents less and there's lineups around the block. So uh, when we do 10 cents, that's going to put huge relief, huge relief uh, in the backs of uh, the pockets of, of taxpayers and businesses. Next question. Megan Fitzpatrick, CBC News. Um, you said that the, the cap and trade system does nothing to help the environment, right. but I think there are people that might disagree with you on that. Yeah. Um, so, and there are people I've talked to who are wondering what you are going to do then to fight global emissions. You've said that you believe in man-made global warming, um, but mm -hmm. what are you going to do instead to reduce greenhouse gas emissions? Your platform said something about an emissions reduction fund, but you never talked about that on the campaign trail. Well, we're, so we're going we're gonna to talk about that moving forward. As I've said, uh, what, what people, what I've talked to across, across the province, they want clean air. They want clean rivers, clean, uh, clean lakes. They want to make sure our environment is clean, our parks are clean, and we're going to do everything we can to uh, make sure that we facilitate that. But keep in mind, we have over a half a billion dollars, $500 million set aside for the environment. Uh, we take that very serious, and we're going to make sure we consult with uh, people in that industry. But this goes back to the, the uh, carbon tax is the worst tax any government could put on uh, businesses and families, it affects them every single day, and we're going to give them relief. We're going to uh, stop the government from gouging the people and uh, with, when it comes to the gas prices, and that's just one step how we're going to put money back into the taxpayer's pocket. Next question. Mr. Ford, Sean Jeffords, Canadian okay, Press. Uh, two questions for you today. Can you uh, tell us the specific date you're going to call the legislature back to do this? And uh, I'm also wondering about the York University strike. Will you introduce back to work legislation on that day to end that strike? Well, Sean, let's just stay tuned. I'll, I'll be announcing that in a little while. Uh, but we're going to be working hard to implement our, our mandate with the people elected us on. And uh, we're going to move fast and make sure we fulfill it. So I will get back to you on that on the exact date. But the swearing in is on June the 29th. Uh, everyone's welcome. And I look forward to getting sworn in and getting a cabinet and uh, turning this province around. Last question. All right. Uh, you've answered most of our, my questions already. Nathan Downer from CP24. You did say once that your first act would be the fire of the CEO of Hydro One. Is that still the plan or is that going to be number two? What happened to that? Well, we're, we're going to make sure that, by the way, the, the CEO, he's done, he's gone. He's gone uh, and we're going to make sure that we reduce hydro rates by 12% putting more relief into the taxpayer's pocket. And uh, today we're, we're gonna focus on the carbon tax, uh, putting 10 cents back in everyone's pocket, and companies too. Uh, when the delivery charges come in, they don't have the surcharges on invoices on these small businesses when gas prices jump up. The gas prices under our administration is gonna go down. And uh, I look forward to uh, putting money back into the business's pocket and the average person's pocket. Nothing drives people cr more crazy. Then on the weekend, 
mysteriously, all these prices of gas go up. Like the gas prices, you know, the gas companies, I'm putting you on notice. You know, you aren't going to be playing these games out of, out of the blue. You're going to start gouging the people of Ontario. It's not going to happen. Uh, just mysteriously, again, Friday rolls around, long weekend, and they start gouging people. The party's over with, with the taxpayers' money. Uh, I just want to make sure the, the gas companies hear me loud and clear on that. Uh, we're going to start protecting the taxpayers, and I hope they respect uh, the, the people of this uh, province that are making their companies rich. That, uh, again, if you think you're going to gouge the taxpayers, not going to happen under our watch. But thank you, everyone. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.